Today I'm going to talk to you about lens flare, all that you need to know on the lens flare. But before then, enjoy some couple of works that I've done using lens flares. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So for those of you who are wondering what a lens flare is, apart from the normal or the inbuilt lens flare in Photoshop, we have these particular lens flares. These are all called lens flares. And I'm going to put some of these in the description. So if you want to use this to follow up the tutorial, you can download it before we move on all right so we're going to make a couple use of them but then let's get to photoshop first of all i want you to understand that lens flare when it is mentioned and what should come into your mind is all about lightening so basically this is an example of a lens flare that i used in this particular work so if you can see from this place that if i turn this particular light or the lens flare off this is the actual work that I was supposed to have. But then with the introduction of lens flare, this is what we have over here. Additionally, if I zoom out like this, this also here is as a result of a lens flare. Now, if I turn this also off, this is actually what you have, or this is what you see. But then if I bring this back on, this is what you have. So basically, when we talk about lens flares, what should come into your mind first is about lightening or probably brightening up a particular object or brightening up your work. I'm going to take a couple of examples for you to understand. I'm going to apply this in flyers and then in pictures. So stay tuned and get to know everything about lens flare. Now the first question that you ask is how do you get these lens flares? Like I said in the introduction, I'll put some in the links. Or in the description so you probably check it out and download them or if you go to google you can search for lens flares photoshop has its own inbuilt lens flare but that is not what i'm talking about i'm talking about the actual lens flare that we download from online so let me show you quickly how this can be applied this particular lens flare i'm going to pick it let me check out the name over here so let me turn this off assuming you have your work okay let me turn this one actually it is this one so let me turn this off now we have the whole work done over here lens flares mostly are used after the work has been completed now i'll open my file over here that is the lens flare file and then i'm coming to choose one of these probably let me go for the lens flare pack i think this is the one that i used so all that you need to do is that you make sure you have the layer that you want to apply it on so in this case i want to apply it on layer number three that is the camera over here so i'll go back to my files drag and drop it right over there now when you bring it this is why this is what you are having right so all that you need to do you can either rasterize this to get rid of the smart object thumbnail or you can just change it straight away but then for the sake of this tutorial let's rasterize so you right click and you rasterize and then you change the blending option from normal to screen so what it does is that it removes the actual black background and then leaves the lightning over here like that so you can actually open it up transform it to make it as bright as you want and then you can actually apply layer masks to this and then get rid of the parts that you don't want. Now, one thing that you have to understand also is that not all backgrounds fit for all backgrounds. For instance, this is a black or this is a black background, right? And the, and the lens flare that we brought in was also black. So obviously it is going to fit for this. But this same lens flare, if you are to apply it to a certain background, probably it might not fit for that so you have to check your background the background that you are using or the background that you'll be using before you decide on which kind of lens flare you have to apply let me quickly try to apply one or two more to this 
and let's see if it will all work for that so let's go for this let me try and bring this in and then i'm going to change the blending option from normal to screen so you can see over here that this particular background or this particular lens flare does not cope with this background so though we've changed it from screen the idea is that it's supposed to remove all the background and leave the lightning only but in this case it is not happening that way so you have to check the background that you are using and the kind of lens flare that you have to apply it to now lens flare on pictures you can actually use lens flare on pictures to make your pictures look so stunning and you can use them for your instagram filters or other stuff let's see how we do that now let me quickly go and apply one of these lens flare actually it is one of the favorites that i mostly use so i drag and drop it over here and then i take over here to confirm now what i'm going to do is you can either resize it straight away or you can apply the changes before but i want to rasterize this it is very important so i rasterize and then i go to the blending mode and i change it from normal to screen so obviously it has removed every part of it and then it is left with only the lighting so you can position your lighting every place now if you zoom in very carefully you're going to see that we have a couple of um, things over here we don't want that so on the contrary what you can do is that you can go to filter and then blur and then you blur it more like gaussian blur you apply some gaussian blur to it so this makes it look more or less like a sun rays and then you can actually apply it or you can transform it the more so this is how it looks like right so this is without the lens flare and this is with the lens flare now the more interesting part is that you have this lens flare over here you can actually change the colors from it to make it correspond to your particular image now all that you need to do is press ctrl u and command u if you are using the mac and then if you drag the slider that is the hue and saturation for the hue section if you drag the slider you're actually going to make some couple of colors and then it is going to make your work very neat so you just have to figure out which one you want to use and as a matter of fact you can make a duplicate of it place it anywhere you want to and then you can change that slider too so you can make so many great lens flares on one picture it actually applies to so many pictures you can use any of the pictures and then using it in flyers you can actually make some great use using lens flare to make your flyers that is church flyers much more appealing so over here you can see that after the lab this is a pure lens flare that is the optical one so if i turn this particular lens flare off this is what you have and then this also is what you have here so you can actually use it to make your works very appealing and very eye-catching i hope at this point you understand the main uses of lens flares and how to apply them in photoshop leave every questions that you have in the comment section and i'm going to attend to them so that will be all for today's video about lens flares let me know your thoughts about lens flares and in case you use one of them feel free to share it on my page instagram tag me and then we are going to talk about that thank you so much for watching i'll catch you with another one it's innocent here bye